Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Al of Asia. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the retirement in the Philippines versus Thailand, and more specifically, the pros and the cons to retirement in these countries. So if you're anything like me, you want the information as soon as possible. So we're going to go through these really, really quickly. If there's a specific question, please add them in the comments or click on the link in the description below and you can see the full article addressing everything that's spoken about in today's video. Here are the pros of retiring in the Philippines. High level of spoken English, strong retirement visa, stunning islands and tours, high quality of life, many investment and business opportunities, many opportunities to help the community, similar Western beliefs, low cost of living, friendly locals, the distance to other Southeast Asian countries. Here are some cons for retiring in the Philippines. Heavy traffic, blackouts, scams that are specifically targeted to foreigners, Wi-Fi coverage, questionable government decisions, unhealthy food, overcharging, natural disasters. Now let's take a look at Thailand and see some of the pros of retiring in Thailand. Low cost of living, especially in the north. Fast Wi-Fi. A comfortable and straightforward way of life. Diverse society. Health services and cosmetic surgery. Ease of access. And here are the cons of retiring in Thailand. Visa age requirement. Price discrimination. Quickly changeable weather. Uncertain future slash government change, driving safety. So as we can see in the points, there's many different things to consider and not all of these will be specific for you. For example, in the Philippines, we mentioned unhealthy food, but that doesn't mean that it applies directly to you. It just means that some of the local cuisine can be deep fried and it can be quite fatty and high of sugar. So one question you may be thinking is how much do you need to retire in the Philippines? Well, one of the great things about living in the Philippines is the overall retirement cost is considerably low compared to other Western countries. However, the cost you'll need to retire in the Philippines really depends on who you are and your specific location. It is recommended to budget at least 50,000 Filipino pesos for those who are looking to retire in the Philippines. However, if you have any medical concerns or you would like to increase your budget for any luxuries, then a great target to aim for is around about 75,000 Filipino pesos. However, as always, you can live on much less. If you are situated in a province or a small city for example then the household cost as well as other expenses will be considerably lower so how much do you need to retire in Thailand in my own experience I have found Thailand to be cheaper compared to a similar lifestyle and what I mean by this is if I was to continue the same lifestyle I have in Thailand but in the Philippines then I would need to spend slightly more money I'd recommend a budget of at least 35,000 Thai baht each month in order to retire in Thailand but similar to the Philippines, this may change ever so slightly. This will depend on the area you're living in and also any health concerns that you have. So the ultimate question is, which is better for retirees, the Philippines or Thailand? Well, from looking at the pros and the cons, it's clear that the best destination really depends on what you're looking for. For example, if you're looking to give back to the community, if you're very much interested in business and investment, then the Philippines may be a slightly better option for you. However, if you're somebody on a budget and you're looking for an easy lifestyle, then Thailand might be slightly more suitable for you. However, the great thing about retiring in Asia is that you do not have to decide. Many retirees I've met over the years across Asia have always spent time in other countries and in fact have multiple visas for different countries. So if you guys are looking for the full article, I make sure that I'll add this in the link in the description below. As today's video, we've just covered some of the points and I've not really gone into specifics. However, if you have a certain question or something that I've mentioned today you'd like some more information on, please just put that in the comments below. 